So I've got a Gigabyte G1 Sniper, the B6 revision. This does come out of um, have out the box support for the Haswell refresh CPU. So in my case, I have a 4690K, um, which I'm really hoping this thing will do really fantastic on because it's the B85 chipset, and everybody says that's a negative thing. There was a review on Guru 3D about this saying that it had really good overclocking options since then some people have said like that they haven't had much luck but I don't know their skill level to be honest I got a really good one with my old Comro back in 2006 I think like based on the setup I had there where people were saying don't get this don't get that again this is purely as we open it down to choice because it's green and as you can probably tell if you're looking around for gaming stuff and you want it to look good there's a lot of people who have like limited choice like uh, gigabytes colors on the sniper seem to be red and black now i don't know why green was quite nice but there you go just have a quick whiz round of everything that they have there that's the board there's not much there just different just showing you this just for the record but there's the back of it again so if we can get you can pause it here if you want to have a look yeah you, apparently it's got 94k support on the motherboard so if that's interesting to anyone, I don't know how the bloody hell, you know, you'll be playing games on that, but maybe if you've got standard stuff, there you go. So, we'll crack it open, see what's included in it really quickly. So, move that out of the way. You have standard manual with a driver's utility CD, which is important. There we go, with just some random card. These, as far as I know, to tidy your cables up. I've never used them in my life, but having said that in this new build, I will. Installation guide. Little labels to label up your hard drive, which one to which. The only one I'm interested in is HDD4. It's green. I won't use it, but there you go. The SATA cables that do come with it, you get two. They are quite nice, to be honest, for what they are. But I already have some bit Phoenix green ones to replace. The show on those, but they are quite nice. Seem stirred. Yeah, very, very tough. They are. And you do have... 90 degree R shaped headers as well, which is fine on those, just the one side of each. Oh, actually, sorry, you get four of these because there's two in there. Yeah, there's two in there, sorry. There's two in there, so you do get four, and then obviously your IR plate on the back there. So there is, as far as I know, two standard USBs with this for the back and a random sticker. Yeah, yeah, so you can see there you have like two USBs. Uh, USB 3, 2 USB 2's and then you've got all like, your audio stuff 1 gigabit LAN and you've got your HDMI and DVI and VGA so I'm showing you on that really I should be showing you on this I'll open it up first Ooh. nicely taped which is fantastic and there we have it quite light I mean they usually are anyway but you can see it is really quite nice so if I rest that there and get my Nvidia Pantone you could see there it's very 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 close which is fantastic for me you could see there on that part so it is Nvidia green awesome you've got a USB connector there for the front as well which is fantastic so you can read all the specs online anyway so this is going to be hopefully a nice build for me fingers crossed so you can check it out on Linus Tech Tips. The link will be in the description down the bottom. So there you go. That's an upside down shot. I don't know why, but it's easier. Cool. Thank you.